गुड आफ्टरनून एसोडी प्रोफेसर ए के द्विवेदी सर माय सेमिनार गाइड बदेश त्रिपाठी सर सेमिनार कोऑर्डिनेटर राजन गिरी सर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स एग्जामिनर्स एंड माय फ्रेंड्स आई एम मोहित गोयल परसिंग माय बीटेक फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी डिपार्टमेंट्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन राजस्थान टेक्निकल यूनिवर्सिटी कोटा टुडे आई एम प्लीज टू बी हेयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टू डिलीवर द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ सीएफडी एनालिसिस ऑफ वेंटिलेशन इन अ हॉस्पिटल रूम लेट्स स्टार्ट विद एन इंट्रोडक्शन सीएफडी एनालिसिस short for computational fluid dynamics analysis is a powerful tool used to study air flow and thermal behavior in various environments including hospital rooms the objective of this presentation is to explore how cfd analysis can be applied to evaluate and optimize ventilation systems in hospital rooms aiming to improve indoor quality and enhance the safety of patients and healthcare workers as we all know maintaining a healthy and safe environment in hospitals is of paramount importance adequate ventilation plays a crucial role in ensuring good indoor air quality reducing the air risk of airborne infections and providing a comfortable environment for both patients and healthcare workers cfd is a computational tool used to simulate air flow patterns and thermal behavior in a complex environment like hospital rooms it provides a detailed investigation of air flow velocities temperature distribution and pollutant dispersion by optimizing ventilation parameters through cfd analysis efficient and effective ventilation systems can be designed to improve air quality and ensure safety in hospitals now we will delve into the cfd analysis process and understand how it can help us evaluate and enhance ventilation system in hospital rooms to start let's take a look at the cfd simulation process CFD uh, simulation involves several key steps. Geometry creation: a digital model of a hospital room is constructed, including walls, windows, doors, and ventilation openings. This mo- model accurately represents the physical layout of the room to simulate real-world conditions. Mesh generation: the model is divided into small computational sets, creating a mesh. that serves as a foundation for solving fluid flow equations this mesh allows us to capture the intricate details of air flow and temperature distribution within the room boundary conditions we specify the air flow rates <coughs> temperature and pressure at the boundary boundaries of the hospital room to replicate realistic scenarios this include the configuration and placement of supply and exhaust vents which significantly impact the ventilation performance solver settings we select appropriate turbulence models and numerical methods to accurately represent the air flow behavior within the hospital room these models help us understand how air moves mixes and distributed within the space post processing once the simulation is completed we analyze the uh, results and generate visualizations to gain insights into the air flow patterns temperature distribution and quality air quality within the hospital room the this information forms the basis for making informed decision to optimize the ventilation systems now let's talk about the input parameters for cfd analysis to conduct accurate analysis we consider various factors including room dimension and geometry ventilation system configuration hvac set- settings thermal loads occupancy conditions and external conditions by simulating different scenarios and optimizing these parameters we can gain valuable insights into the effectiveness of the ventilation system and identifying areas for improvement moving on to the cfd analysis result and interpretation air flow pattern patterns streamlines and velocities vect- velocity factors help us understand the direction and intensity of air flow within the room we can identify and areas uh, we can identify areas of stagnant air or inadequate air circulation temperature distribution color counter plots allow us the temperature distribution across different zones of the hospital room this allows us to identify areas with 
temperature variations that may impact patient comfort and healthcare workers productivity contaminant contaminant con concentration by analyzing this, this the dispersion of pollutant or contaminants we can access the effectiveness of the ventilation system in removing them this is crucial for reducing the risk of airborne infection particle dispersion analysis we can evaluate the movement and the transport of airborne particles including pathogens this helps us identify potential exposure areas and design appropriate control measures ventilation effectiveness through these analysis we can determine the effectiveness of ventilation systems and identify the potential areas for optimization this may involve adjusting vent positions air flow rates uh, or implementing other engineering conditions solutions now let's talk about a case study problem the initial problem was the presence of inadequate ventilation in the icu leading to suboptimal air quality and concerns concerns about infection control this prompted the need through a need for a thorough assessment and optimization of ventilation system simulation setup the first step in the cmd analysis was to create a digital model of the icu room incorporating accurate measurements and specification this 3d model includes walls windows doors and ventilation openings to replicate the actual environment mesh generation the model was then divided into small computational cells using appropriate meshing techniques this step allowed for accurate simulation of fluid flow dynamics and capturing of detailed air flow patterns boundary conditions next the air flow rates temperature and pressure in the inlet and outlet vents were defined based on the actual ventilation system setup in the icu this ensures that the simulation represented in the uh, is in the real world condition accurately solver settings to accurately capture the complex air flow behavior within the icu a validated turbulence model and numerical method are selected these choices enable the simulation to accurately predict air flow patterns and interaction within the space post processing and analysis findings <clears throat> once the simulation was completed the results were analyzed to evaluate air flow pa patterns temperature distribution and air flow quality metrics within the icu <clears throat> the cfd analysis provides several valuable insights and findings air flow air flow patterns the analysis revealed areas of stagnant air and insufficient air exchange near certain pa patient beds additionally localized recirculation zones were identified indicating ineffective ventilation in specific regions of icu temperature distribution the simulation also highlighted temperature variation across different zones of the icu this variation indicated the need of better temperature control to ensure thermal comfort for patients and healthcare staff air quality assessment the analysis allowed for the evaluation of contaminant dispersion and potential airborne pathogen transmission within the icu the assessment helped identify areas where the filtration and circulation needed improvement to maintain a self safe environment an intensive care unit icu in a hospital room was ex experiencing an inadequate ventilation resulting in some optimal air quality and concerns about the potential for airborne transmission of infections the existing ventilation system configuration and air flow patterns needed to be assessed and optimized to ensure the safety and well-being of patients and healthcare in conclusion the application of cfd analysis in optimization ventil optimizing ventilation systems in hospital rooms is, is a powerful tool that can significantly enhance indoor qu air quality infection control and thermal comfort by leveraging the capabilities of cfd hospitals can 
make evidence-based decisions to optimize their ventilation systems, ultimately benefiting the health and well-being of patients and healthcare workers. Thank you. मेरे को चश्मा लगाना पड़ेगा